So we have a rational inequality. The problem with the rational inequality is that in this particular case, cross multiplying would involve multiplying by 3x minus 2. But in case of a, an inequality, we need to know whether we are multiplying by a positive or a negative quantity. Because if we are multiplying by a negative quantity, we must reverse the inequality sign. So that is the issue. Let's start first by noticing that the left-hand side is not even defined if the denominator is 0. Therefore, x cannot be 2 over 3. So we would like to multiply by 4 times 3x minus 2. But for that, we need to know whether it's positive or negative. And although we do not have any control over whether this expression is positive or negative, what we can do is just follow it carefully. So basically, we're going to separate the universe into two parallel universes. So the first case, when the denominator is positive. Now, the denominator is positive when 3x minus 2 is greater than 0, and that is when x is greater than 2 over 3. So if x happens to be greater than 2 over 3, then the denominator is positive, which means we can multiply by 3x minus 2 and keep the same inequality sign. So we're going to cross multiply, which is the same as multiplying by 4 times 3x minus 2. The 3x minus 2 cancels, we're left with the 4, and here the 4 cancels out and we're left with the 3x minus 2. And now we are on solid ground, so to speak. We know how to solve this inequality. We distribute on both sides, then we're going to subtract 20x and add 14. Okay. So what did we get? Notice that all the computations are easy. What might be the most difficult thing is coordinating all these little computations. So we're looking among the numbers that are greater than 2 thirds, which are all the numbers to the right of 2 thirds. And among those, we found that all of those that are greater than negative 2 will work. So that means that in this case, when the denominator is positive, we have found x is greater than 2 thirds. Okay. Well, that's not the only case, right? We could have a negative denominator. So the denominator is negative when x is less than 2 over 3. So we're going to look for solutions only among the numbers that are less than 2 thirds. In that case, when we are multiplying both sides by 4 times 3x minus 2, we are multiplying by a negative quantity, which means that the inequality sign must be reversed. And the computation is going to be pretty much the same. We subtract the same 20x. We had 14. So now what we got is that the numbers among which we are looking are the ones less than 2 thirds. And we found that among these numbers, the ones that work are the ones that are less than negative 2. So from this part, we got that x will work if it's less than negative 2. So we had two cases. When the denominator was positive, the solution set was that x is greater than 2 thirds. When the denominator was negative, we got that x is less than negative 2. So altogether, these are the two possible cases. So the final answer is x is either less than negative 2 or greater than 2 thirds. And the same solution set in interval notation would be the union of the two intervals from negative infinity to negative 2 and from 2 thirds to infinity. Thank you for watching.